Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating a logarithmic expression in terms of another one. So we have log 54 in base 72 equals x and we're supposed to evaluate log 3 with base 2. So I'm going to be presenting two methods, let's start with the first method. Now my first method basically involves the change of base formula. If you have log xy, you can just write it as log y over log x in any base. In this case, I'm going to be using base 10 uh, because that's kind of standard and you know easy to use. So when I write log, that means base 10, not the uh, natural logarithm, which I will use ln for. So I'm going to write my expression as log 54 divided by log 72, and we we know that it's equal to x. Now I can uh, I can factor 54 as you know 9 times 6 and 6 can be written as 2 times 3 so that is basically uh, 2 times 3 to the third power and then um, 72 can be written as 8 times 9 which is 2 to the third power times 3 squared and then by using the you know formulas or rules for logarithms we can just go ahead and break it down this is going to turn into log 2 plus 3 log 3 and then divided by 3 log 2 plus 2 log 3 and that is equal to x. Now we're going to go ahead and cross multiply here and my goal is to get log 3 with base 2 and I'm going to get that by using the change of base property backwards. So I can go ahead and write this as log 2 plus 3 log 3 equals 3 log 2 multiplied by x plus 2 log 3 multiplied by x. Now my goal is to get a ratio of log 2 to log 3 or the other way around. So I would like to collect, uh, you know, the log 2s on one side. So let me go ahead and subtract log 2 from the right hand side and then subtract this other term here on the left hand side so it's going to look like this okay and then I'll be taking out a log 2 here so I'll use factoring this is going to give me log 2 multiplied by the quantity 3x minus 1 equals log 3 factored out 3 minus 2x and from here I want to get log 3 over log 2 as opposed to log 2 over log 3 because if you use the change of base here this, this is going to be equivalent to log 3 over log 2. That's what I'm trying to get. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, make the, you know, divisions log 3 over log 2. So we can just go ahead and divide by that and divide by this. It's going gonna, it's gonna to equal 3x minus 1 divided by 3 minus 2x. And as you know, and we mentioned it before, we can use the change of base formula backwards. And this is equivalent to log 3 with base 2. And that's what I was trying to get. So this is going to be my answer in terms of x. This brings us to the end of the first method. Let's go ahead and proceed with the second method. Okay. Now my second method is a little different because it is going to use properties of exponents. So let's go ahead and take a look at the original problem again. We're given that log 54 with base 72 is equal to x and from here we're supposed to find log 3 with base 2 in terms of x. Great. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the definition of logarithms. So the logarithms, the rule, the main definition tells us that hey this can be written as 72 to the power x equals 54. Even if you don't know logarithms just look at the definition because then you can convert the logarithmic expression into an exponential one. Now from here, I want to get this expression, and later on, I'm going to deal with that. But let me go ahead and simplify this a little bit. So let's go ahead and do the same thing pretty much. 72 is going to be broken down into 2 to the third times 3 squared, and that'll be raised to the power x. And 54 is just going to be written as 2 times 3 to the power 3. Let's go ahead and uh, multiply all the exponents by x. 2 to the power 3x multiplied by 3 to the power 2x equals... 2 to the first, obviously that's what it is, times 3 to the third. I want to separate the uh, 2s and 3s, so I want to put, uh, you know, the 2s on the left hand side, so I can just write it as 2 to the power of 3x divided by 2, and on the right hand side, I'm going to be getting 3 to the third divided by 3 to the power of 2x. Now, by using rules of exponents, if you divide two powers with the same base, 
you subtract the exponent, so this is going to give me 2 to the power 3x minus 1 on the left hand side, and on the right hand side, I'm get getting 3 to the power 3 minus 2x. Great. Now we're almost there, but remember, our goal is to find this expression here. So, how am I going to find that, right? Or how can I use this to find it? Well, there's a couple of different ways you can use the definition. You can log both sides, so on and so forth. You could also do the following, like you can call this, I don't know, y, and try to find y in terms of x. But this just means that 2 to the power y equals 3, by definition of logarithms again. So that means you can replace the 3 with 2 to the power y, and your goal is to solve for y, because that's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to be replacing 3 with 2 to the power y. So, and you know why, right? Replace 3 with 2 to the power y, and then that'll be multiplied by this. And then from here, we're going to be getting a nice equality. If you distribute the y, you get 3y minus 2xy. And now we have a situation where the bases are equal, so the exponents are also equal. From here, we get that 3x minus 1 equals 3y minus 2xy. Now remember, our goal was to find y in terms of x, so, well, why did I distribute, right? I, I didn't really didn't need to distribute, but anyways, you can just go ahead and take out the y here, and it's going to give you 3 minus 2x, and since our goal is to solve for y, I can write it as 3x minus 1 divided by 3 minus 2x. And again, uh, you could use a slightly different approach here, and take this expression, and then log both sides, and that would give you something like this. You can log both sides with base 2, because that's what we're looking for. And then, from here, you should get the answer, because you're going to get a 1 from here, you're going to get the 3x minus 1, this is going to become a coefficient, and it'll be multiplied by what we're looking for, and finally dividing by this, you'll get the same answer. So basically, what we're looking for is going to be this expression right here. And if you look, go back to the first method, we got 3x minus 1 divided by 3 minus 2x, which is the same as this one. And this brings us to the end of this video. But well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.